Good morning, everyone. Yes, I'm in my pajamas and I am not made up. I look rough, but I don't care. I'm like, I'm ticked off. So instead of writing about it, because when I'm mad, my voice text really screws up because of my accent. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't like me. And instead of getting irritated by trying to write all this stuff down on Facebook, I decided to just do a quick little video. You know, I'm a credit card person. No, I don't have debt. Okay, I pay off my bills every month. I just like to be organized, so organized. So I like to have a card for each store so I know what I bought at each store, how much, get the rewards, all of that. And I'm really ticked off because, you know, I have a nice journal that I keep all my cards in. Well, I go through them every month. And so I started going through them because it's the first of the month. <clears throat> well, Community has at least 93 cards just alone, you know, for stores. I have, I don't know, at least a dozen of them. And I, so far, I have found three that they just up and closed without any warning. They don't send me anything in the mail. They don't give me a call, a text, nothing to let me know, hey, if you don't use the, your card within, you know, say a month, we're going to close it. You know, Barclay does that because they did that on my, I think my choice or my Hawaiian. I think it was my choice card. And then I was like, oh, well, you know, I don't want them to close it because when a card closes, it hurts your credit score. And I try to use, I mean, there's some of them I really don't use a lot. I mean, it's COVID. No one is shopping. No one's going anywhere. So I'm really not using my cards. I mean, there's only a few, like my Hilton I use all the time. Or, you know, a preferred diamond. Those that you use all the time. Um, well, I have found at least three now. My Abercrombie and Finch, my Barney's, and uh, hopefully not my Victoria's Secret, but or my Wayfair or Eddie Bauer. But some of these, they've closed them and didn't even bother to tell me. So I know that's going to impact my credit score, and that's going to tick me off because I have a really nice score, and they shouldn't do that. Because, I mean, most good companies, they send you out a letter saying, hey, you know. And it's smart because people may not realize that they haven't used their card, you know. And it's, it's nice because it's like saying, hey, we want to keep your business. We just want to remind you, you haven't used your card and we're going to close it if you don't use it because you haven't used it in a year. And, you know, it's nice. It shows that they're paying attention, they care, and they send you out something. Boom, okay, so I used my choice. I really don't like my choice card, but I don't want it to kill my credit score. So, you know, and if there's an emergency, at least, you know, you have you know, several grand that you, you know, you can use if you need it. Well, I don't like the fact that at least three of these have closed and, I'm scared to look through some of the other ones because I hope they have it closed because oh my god that's gonna kill me but for the fact that they just talk to you like idiots on the phone I was polite to them what really ticks me off is that they're gonna catch an attitude and you can hear it in the tone yes and how they say things yes they were getting an attitude and that's what ticks me off because I'm not dumb I was a bookkeeper I love accounting. I love numbers. I know, I, and I've done data entry. Hello, tech support. I'm not dumb. I know how to put the numbers in. I've been doing it for years and I've had no issue, but then all of a sudden my account doesn't work. And they're like, well, sometimes there's technical issues, blah, blah, blah. And, but when she says this, she's saying it on my end. She's saying that they don't have any problems with their computer systems, that they've looked up accounts and they haven't had any issues. She's putting all the blame on me. It's not my fault. I'm telling you, my account does not work. It's always worked. And I'm not new to this. I have lots of cards. And, ugh, oh, it just irritated me so bad. That's poor customer service. You don't talk to someone like that. And it just, oh, I just but need to breathe because I just want to tell these people off. I'm not a bad person. Don't treat me like that. I'm worried because I can't get into my accounts. I want to make sure I haven't been hacked. 
Um, I want to make sure my credit score stays good. You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to take care of my fa- financial stuff. I'm t- trying to take care of my stuff. So please, you know, don't talk to your customers like that. That's what I'm saying. I don't like it. And for the fact that the, the company... And I was even going to open up a savings account or something because I'm like, you know, they have all these accounts. They must be a great company. They're growing. They're getting big. You know, let me invest in them. <laughs> I'm not investing in them now. They suck because they can't even send out a letter, a phone call, a text, anything in this world, this day and age. You can do anything so easily and you can send out information and they didn't send any correspondence and so they're gonna hurt my credit score I think it's unfair and yes some of you are gonna say oh if the store closes your account it's not gonna hurt you yes it does I had a shell card for 12 years was never late didn't owe anything on it um, and I used it all the time because shell is the only gas I get and then um, I can't remember what happened I think the economy went bad or something something happened well they decided to just close my account. Didn't give me any warning or nothing. I mean, if I was late, if I didn't pay, or if I had a huge balance, I can understand them freaking out over it. But for them to just close me and they had no right to close me, ugh. I mean, I didn't want to use Shell for a long time, but I can't help it. My vehicle's like Shell gas. <laughs> but I would never own a Shell card again. I never have. And I quit with gas cards. I only use like my Hilton card or my Disney card or God, I don't know. I have so many, but I mean, I use them for rewards. That's why I use them. And I don't use them like some people, you know, when you, when you're not used to credit cards, you get a credit card. Ooh, let me go shop, put stuff on it. And then they don't pay it because they buying stuff that they shouldn't have bought really, but they wanted it. And you know, you can't help that. Um, you learn and then you end up paying I don't like to pay interest I use it for my benefits I'm not gonna let them use me so if I buy something I pay it off within the month heck sometimes a couple of days later or as soon as the the payment comes up because you can't pay like if I go out and buy something on my credit card for $500 Um, I can't send them $500 that day because they're like, hey, you don't have any balance. You can't send any money. Now, there are a few cards that will allow you to like prepay, like to give them money on your account, even though you don't owe them anything like American Express. One of my American Express cards, I haven't tried it on any of my other ones, but I know on this one specific, the, the blue one, I think the blue cash one, I haven't tried it on the Hilton. But, you know, if you know that, hey, I just went out and spent $2,000 on something. Ah, okay. Let me pay it as soon as I get home. It'll let me pay it. I can put money on my card, even though the balance hasn't showed up there. Because it takes a few days, you know, for it to post. There's a soft post, a hard post. And normally you have to wait. Barclay cards, yeah, you you can't prepay. You can't pay on something that you just got. You have to wait for it to hard post and show. But the point is, God, I lost where I was at because my mind goes a million miles a minute when I'm upset, angry, scared, nervous. I just, uh, I just start, you know, information is just piling everywhere. So I don't even know if I covered everything I wanted to say because this is not something I had planned on so it's not like I have a list and all this I'm just going off the top of my head but um, it just it really upsets me because it's not fair I work hard and I make sure my score is nice and they're just they're gonna kill it they're probably at 700 you know by this time I don't even know but I'm really upset about it because they shouldn't be able to do that. They should have to give you some kind of written notice saying, hey, we're gonna close your account in 30 days if you don't use your card. So I probably won't use community anymore. Just for the fact that it ticked me off, because I'm very loyal. If I like you, if I really like you, even if you screw up, I'll, you know, I'll have your back. I'll stand beside you. But if you just tick me off really bad and for no reason, 
then screw you. I will go use someone else. I don't care. Just like with the whole Sprite thing, okay? I haven't bought any Sprite since then because they haven't replied to me. And maybe it's not their fault. And maybe that's why they're not answering because they want to stay neutral. But for the fact of all the stuff that I've been told by, you know, people, oh, sorry, by people that I know and I can trust, I, I'm not going to buy from them. Even though I love Sprite and it's the only drink I drink. So I've gotten lemon and lime and I'm putting it in hot water and that's what I'm drinking with a little bit of honey to help my sinuses. So, and that's what I'm drinking because, you know, I, I, I'm loyal and, I, and I'm tired of people just being ugly and rude and mean. Man, okay, we have enough crap in the world already. I mean, it's bad enough that COVID just sucks, okay? Life has been turned upside down. I mean, in a way, it's been some positive things about it because people are spending more time at home and with family and they're distancing themselves from crap that they shouldn't be around in the first place. But, I mean, some things have just been hard. And so, you know, I don't like people being ugly and mean. So I'm staying away from Sprite until I feel good about it again. And it's probably better for me and it's gonna save me a lot of money. But the cards, mm -mm. I will stay with Discover. They're really good to me. American Express is good to me. City's good to me. Chase is good to me. Um, God, Barclay, they're either yay or nay. I mean, they're not great, but they're not bad. But if you have issues, their customer service kind of sucks. Um, God, I could probably do a video just on credit cards. Hey, if y'all want to know anything about credit card stuff, you know, you can ask because I'm like the queen. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I had to vent. I had to get it off my chest because it, it, it irritates me. I'm so angry right now. This is me angry <laughs> because I don't like people messing with my numbers. I like numbers and I like my cards and I'm mad. And now I'm going to have to rearrange because I have all my cards in alphabetical order and I have everything all nice and pretty and now I have open slots. So now I've got to go fix everything once I figure out the rest of my cards. So I hope y'all have a good day and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>